I'm going to be honest here. I was kind of spoiled. Mm. So for my mother's side, I could do no wrong. So even if I'd done it, no, he didn't do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But then my grandparents from my father's side, they were um, disciplinarians. Mm. Okay. They were like, listen, you're not doing it around here. Mm. You're too spoiled. We're going to teach you discipline. And so my grandfather, I think he identified certain traits in me already. My grandfather from my father's side. Mm. And so what he, said, what he used to say to me is that <laughs> in his kind of Caribbean voice, you want to be a bad boy? Okay, bad boy. You're going to be an educated bad boy. Mm. So in the mornings, he would wake me up and, you know, I would have to read the Bible and so forth. Mm. But yeah, they were all very caring, kind, mm. kind loving. Mm. For them, their whole philosophy was education. Yeah. To educate, you know, because obviously we know that if we're not educated as well, then we're kind of limited. I was going to ask you, have you mm. always been this articulate still, Carl? You talk, you talk very articulate. I think I, I think I always, always have, but obviously it's, um, three years it's increased as well. Mm. Mm-hmm. And especially as you're facing him, you can see my brother at the back there. Mm. He, um, his name's Care Bear and he's helped me tremendously as well <laughs> on regards to my, uh, cool. on regards to my development as well. That's these awesome. are the types of, these are the types of people that we need to aspire to be. These mm. are the types of people that need to actually be, become community leaders. And so, so you forth. taught him, had to be disarticulate. He thought you had to be disarticulate. Of course, he gave me the, he gave me a lot of knowledge. No, because he he's not as articulate. Still, I was talking to him on the way up. Yeah. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> that made me more old. You get me? Like yeah, these really. <laughs> things a bit different. But why? Ah, you be fooled. Mm. You, see with him, you, see, me. you see his ability as well mm. And this is the one thing that I'm still trying to learn as well mm. Is how to be relatable to everybody mm. So sometimes as well You could be articulating something But it might not be the right audience mm. So you sometimes need to get your message You know, across And I've seen this with your podcast as well yep. Depending on what kind of audience Will mm. determine on how you lot you know, How we interact. You yeah. interact And that is the true essence of how you're supposed to communicate with people. What I thought, because obviously we're going to get to that, but 22 years behind bars, I thought that honed your skills. Of course it did. Do you know what I mean? Also. Mm. That's what I thought, because, do you know what I mean? Mm. That's how, a lot of time to hone your skills, but anyway. So, secondary school, how was the transition? Oh, secondary school. How was the transition from <laughs> like primary to secondary? Exactly the same process. <laughs> still going, still going mad, so, still fighting. It's actually, I was actually conversing with my wife about this as well. And you got wifey? Mm-hmm. Of course, no, 100%. Mm. Car, she's, been a, she's been a pillar. Yeah, you, definitely. You needed her still. No, no, 101%. Mm. If it weren't for her as well. You'd be on your own. Mm, definitely. I know I'm going mad, but it's harder on your own. No, 100%. We, we, me and him talking it, so I know, like, trust me, you needed her. Mm. 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 Yeah. Yeah, so the transition. Yeah, so I was actually saying to my wife as well that the first day was a crazy one. And when I was at, <laughs> so my first day in secondary school, I went to St. Mark's in Fulham. Mm. And again, I, I'm not going to say that all the kids were bullies because a lot of them are my good friends. A, lo- a lot of them are, you know, very staunch individuals, and especially West London. I've always got this close affiliation. I've got like a couple of my sisters are from West London anyway. Okay. So I've always... To be fair, I've always preferred Wes. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> I have to be honest. <laughs> That's just me, you know. Mm-hmm. Care Bears mm-hmm. from West, you know. I just, I just He's North West. They like to, North they North like to tell me it's different. So don't, you know what I mean? They like to tell me, oh, Wes, you're North West. Yeah, North West. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but we like West though. I know, but you like yeah. to, every time I say West. No, I'm like, just oh, saying like, you don't really hear about <laughs> other, something West, North West stands out. Mm. Do you get me? We got, got north, south, we east, west, west, and we got north, north west. west. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight. <laughs> True stories. Yeah, exactly. There's no north east. I still. mean. <laughs> well, Wolfram stores north east. But you don't hear it's not got our stamp. Listen, you know what I mean? Listen, <laughs> We've made it's our not mark. About you. It's not about me. It's about our guest. Shut up. <laughs> no, it's about our guest. The transition. Mm-hmm. It's about our guest. No, that's okay anyway. Yeah. Um, no, nah, this is, we do this. She's mm. been tall. I have to wind her up every time. Exactly. No. Did you have any other subjects that you liked in secondary school apart from history 
And what was the other one? No, it was just history. We no, you like history mm-hmm. and something. Religious else. education. Oh, yeah, okay, RE. RE. Ah, religious education, yeah. And, yeah. and also English. I did like that as well. I liked you know, English, like the grammar. Yeah, 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 I liked the English yeah, literature. Yeah, I've English GCSE still. No, definitely. Language, I could... I can I can speak like you if I want, you know. No, I can believe that. Yeah, you know I mean, just me. You have to also understand mm. as well. That's one thing as well. People are fooled sometimes, yeah. but mm-hmm. especially when you're a musician and so forth as well, that you're very good with words. Mm. So you're very creative. So obviously you do your research, you read books and so forth. So I understand all that. I just lost. And the... it doesn't mean because you can articulate yourself makes you intelligent as well. I know mm. many people that you may think that they're inarticulate, but I tell and you just now, they're geniuses. Words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's what I'm saying. Some people are clever with their hands as well. I know that's mm. mad, but do you know what I mean? You know, what I mean? no, 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 hundred percent. You get what I'm saying? Trade. Some people are actually better. Yeah. Like up my bridging, he can't read. All right, I'm not gonna kill him. But they're not, and he can't fix. What? I know. Like my man can fix anything, mm-hmm. like, anything. You get me? So and anyway, it's not about my bridging. Boom. So how was secondary school though? Yeah, it was good. So as what I was saying, like for my first wife, um, as I was saying to my wife as well, that the first day in school, mm. it was, uh, again, you know, being young, having high levels of, you know, testosterone and so forth. Mm-hmm. I think I had upset half of the school. <laughs> so when it came time for home time, mm-hmm. half the school was actually waiting to actually give me a, <laughs> a pasting. Okay, but, right. <laughs> But then no. there was a there was an older um there was an older young girl, and um her name was Tammy and her friends and they kind of saved they kind of saved me from that. The girl the girl could do their thing back in the day mm. school days. The girl could save you still. No, no, of course, girl definitely. can't save you no more. <laughs> <laughs> you have to save girl. You get me? <laughs> Nine school. Big up mm. a couple. You know I have to always big up Aminata. Yeah, when I talk Amenata. about the girl them in school, <laughs> there was a couple physical girl them in school still. Mm. I was thumping up a couple of the man them. You know, like man was having fight. Of course. And they were winning. Mm. So what Aminata. happened? What did you do? Mm? What happened? Why did they yeah. want to fight you after school? So I think I was just on, you know, like the arguments with me. I never backed down. I had a little attitude as well. So they just think, who's this? Mm. Who's this guy? Like, you know, who's this other kid? So they just waited. They said, we had enough of him. <laughs> and that was my first day. So I stepped out. She, you know, they were there. They're saying, no, it's not happening. And um, that was it. But after that, I created a lot of friends. Mm. Oh, okay. It was. And it was like a team. I don't know. You know, like in in schools as well, that you have rivalries with other schools and yeah. and our year. Our year was kind of a rowdy year. So we, we, had a lot of, we had a lot of individuals that could handle themselves as well. Mm. So yeah, growing up here. Fun? It was, but then unfortunately I got excluded. Why? Again. Fighting. <laughs> this is the story of my life. Mm. So yeah, eventually the school got fed up of me. By the time I was 12 years of age, they permanently excluded me. What's that, year eight? Yeah. Mm. So year eight. After that, I went to, I don't know what they call it now, but at the time it was IT centers. Okay, yeah. So I went into an um, IT center and there was one in, if I can recall, so it's been such a long time. There was one in Wandsworth. There was one in uh, Clapham Junction. And I think there was another one in two in that I went to and I was kicked out of all three of them as well. You probably didn't know then, yeah? Mm. But in hindsight, can you think of why you're behaving like this? Like why you just like to fight? Or you still don't know. Um, it's a combination of things. Mm. Again, when you're young, when you're young, and let's let's take it further back. Actually, mm. so you're kind of right. Why? How is this kind of like triggered? Yeah, yeah. So remember, I said to you that when I actually moved to Wandsworth Road, mm. it weren't so plain sailing for me when I originally first went to Wandsworth Road. Mm. Because remember, they considered me as just being Junction, Clapham Junction. Okay. Now, if you look at the history of Patmore State initially in my times, it was kind of like Switzerland. Big up Lewis as well. Mm-hmm. And of course. <laughs> yeah, big up Lewis. Definitely, 100%. Every time I hear Patmore, I big up Lewis. No, no, definitely. And he's dad. Yeah, 100%. Mm. Sorry. Definitely. We digress. Go on. So, yeah. So, it was kind of like, uh, it was kind of like Switzerland. 
So you would you would have many different kind of like sometimes areas coming down, and it was kind of like good camaraderie. Mm. They were all okay with each other, except for it seems like the Patmore didn't like Clapham Junction. Okay. So at that time, so an incident happened. There was a group of young men who now are my good friends, mm -hmm. but obviously they took a disliking to me, and so sometimes as well kids can be very um, predatory, you know, they, are, they have this kind of predatory instincts. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they know that when you're just kind of, they sense the fear. So, you know, sometimes as well that I would try to avoid them. If mom says go shop, that was a scary moment. Mm, it's <laughs> it's so I'm thinking now, so even then I'm kind of, I'm using strategy. I'm thinking, okay, so, if I go around this way, he's going to walk at a certain time. This is where it makes you calculated. He's going to walk at that. Then I can sneak behind. I can go here and I could go there. But then one day I was unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> and they caught hold of me. Mm. And yeah, they set up on me. And I was calling out for help. There was, there was a lot of kids. Mm. They were punching, kicking. Um, I saw, I saw adults just walking past. But I can understand now myself being an adult as well, that sometimes it's, it's very risky and it's a very difficult situation as well, because you may want to, you may want to help that young person. Mm. But then when you see crowds of other young people as well, you don't know what they might be having on them and so forth. And it might create a, a greater problem but me being at that age at that time as well you see adults as protectors exactly. as your guardian you'd think that they would at least step of, in say something. something yeah they didn't so anyway they were trying to um take my jacket and mm -hmm. you know That's what's going on now. Mm -hmm. which my mom worked hard for it's it's not happening mm. so obviously I hanged on to my jacket. After that, my mom took me to the hospital and I turned around to my mom. My mom reminded me of this actually. So, and she, and um, my mom said that I said to her that it would never happen to me again. Hmm. Hmm. And we're here now. Hmm. 